Hey friends, a couple of days ago I did a video announcing the Bible giveaway for the month of June since I was in the hospital and sick and not able to do it. And there were two people that won. The first one that won is not responding to me. I need his mailing address so I can ship it to him. And he has not responded to me. I reminded him twice and no response. The second one that won, won a Bible from me already several months ago. And she said she didn't need another Bible. She just wanted to play the contest. And so I need another winner. It's the same question. What ten books in the Old Testament are not explicitly quoted in the New Testament? There's only ten of them. And to win this nice Bible, I want you to give me all ten of them. And that's it. That, that's simple. If you don't know off the top of your head, it's easy to find the answer. So somebody that needs a Bible and wants to play that contest, give me the ten books in the Old Testament that are not explicitly quoted in the New Testament. This is a Bible that you'll be winning. It's just like the one I use. I've got a bunch. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I got ten Bibles. But this is my favorite. Oh, I got eleven because I keep one in my truck all the time. This one has genuine leather. Not not the fake leather, it's genuine leather. Right there on the back. It says genuine leather and it's got a ISBN number or some kind of number there. It's thin line Bible, which I love. It's a lot easier to handle. Got, got the Old Testament and the New Testament. Got the words of Christ in red. It's got references in, in the Bible next to the scripture. It's got the gilded edges. It's got the ribbon book marker. It's a nice Bible. I want to give it to one of you. So give me... The first ten, uh, give me the ten books in the Old Testament that are not mentioned or quoted from explicitly in the New Testament. Give me that so I can give a Bible away. I love giving Bibles away. So let me do it. All I need from you is your address, your shipping address. And I'll give it to the book supplier, the Christian book supplier that I buy my Bibles and Christian books from, and they'll ship it direct to you. It will have tracking with it, and as soon as I get the tracking number, I'll give that to you so you can see where it's at as it travels from, I think it's Massachusetts, where they come from to your home or wherever your mailing address is. And don't give me your mailing address publicly. Give it to me in an email to Hanging Out With Stan, the same name as my YouTube channel, at yahoo.com. Hanging Out With Stan at yahoo.com. Alrighty, y'all got it. Hope to have a winner in the next 15 or 20 minutes. Today, my doctor friend invited me to go watch a baseball game. She has a son that is, I think she said 11 years old, that plays. And I had a blast, y'all. I, 
I just about fainted when I got up. She had to grab me. But it was fun. They, they played two games. The first game they lost. I don't remember for sure, but it's something like 7-4, to four, I believe. Second game they won 14 to 4. So the second game was a whole lot more exciting than the first game. But it was fun for me to get out. We were gone like four hours and I got really thirsty. So she went to the concession stand and bought me a bottle of water. It was good for me to get out like that because I get tired of being shut up in the house all the time. That's it for now, y'all. I'll, I don't know when I'll be back again. Uh, you know, <clears throat> God wants us to know his word. You know, he says, thy word have I hid in my heart that I might not sin against thee. If we're serious, about being holy as God is holy. We need to get the stinking sin out of our life. And the best way I know to do that is to live in the Word. And God wants us to understand His Word. He doesn't want it to be confusing. He doesn't want it to be where we can't understand it. He wants us to understand what we're reading. That is one of the many reasons he gave us the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit will tutor you and guide you as you read God's Holy Word if you ask him to, and it's that simple. Every time I pick up this book, before I open it, I pray and ask the Holy Spirit to guide me and tutor me as I read his word. And he does. It makes it fun to read. It makes it exciting to read. So y'all try it and get in the habit of doing it every time you read his word and read his word every day. The more, the better. It's awesome. And it, it will do so much for you. It will give you a feeling of comfort and peace and confidence and love and a whole bunch of other things. So do it, y'all. God wants us in his word. He wants us to understand his word. And to do that, he gave us the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit has many roles. That's one of them. So pray and ask the Holy Spirit to guide you and tutor you as you read God's holy word. That's all I got for you today. Hopefully soon I'll have something better if there is anything better I'll look and find something I miss talking to y'all I miss sharing God's word and God's love and God's salvation salvation is something every person in the world needs and very few have it we true Christians need to be sharing Jesus. I don't think there's anything in the world that would make him happier than to share him with other people. Because he died a cruel, agonizing death on the cross for the sins of the world. And he wants people to believe that and to believe that three days later he arose from the grave and is alive today. That 
My friend, it's the gospel of Jesus Christ. Share that with them. And tell them that in Acts 16.31, it tells us what we need to do. Jesus did all the dirty work for us to have salvation. All we've got to do per Acts 16.31 is believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. You believe and have faith and confidence in all that Jesus did and his sacrificing his body for our sins, dying and arising from the grave three days later. And soon, very soon, he's coming back for his bride, the true Christians. You want to be in that group. So do it today. Right now, do it. Believe in what he did to erase our sins. Because nobody can get to heaven with sin in their life. And if you believe in Jesus and what he did, every one of your sins will be erased and forever forgotten. When God looks at us through his son Jesus, he sees a holy person because of what Jesus did for us. That's what he needs to see. That's what he must see before we can get into heaven. So if you're not one of those people, right now, exercise a little faith and believe that Jesus loved you so much and did not want you to ever go to hell. So for you, for me, for whoever believes, he died on the cross. He was brutally murdered. He was put in a grave. Three days later, he arose from the grave like a new man, alive, walking, seeing his disciples again, seeing his family again. And then shortly thereafter, he arose to heaven where he is today, but he's not going to be there for much longer. He told us he was going to heaven to prepare a place for us, and that soon he would come back for us, so that where he was, we may be also. You want to be there, friends, I promise you. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and be saved. God bless you, friends. I love you. I love every one of you that listens to my channel. But guess what? God loves you way, way more than I do. Believe that and be saved.